All right, what's going on guys? We are here in Toronto, Canada, and we're on our way to Kane Sumbat, aka Timberwolf's Place. Kane, in my opinion, is one of the most interesting guys in the whole fitness industry. He's got a really unique perspective on training, nutrition, and just lifestyle in general. Um, so I don't wanna to spoil too much for you guys. You can sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and I'll check in with you guys over at Kane's Place. All right, thank you. Enter directory code. That's Domino. Hey, what's mm -hmm. up, bro? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, you remember me, bro. Come on, be good, be good. Are we going to use the bomb today? Sure. Okay. I don't think you felt the thing before, right? Uh, oh, I felt it for sure. Oh, did you? Okay. It just wasn't like yeah. crazy. All right. Then, yep, I've never good. actually smoked out of a bomb before, so oh. you're going to have to. There's this. This is 20 milligrams sativa. That's what I usually use. Oh, yeah? So... About this much for you? I'll I don't want much. Yeah, no, not too much. Yeah, like, how about minimum, you? How minimum. much you want? I'll smoke this one. Yeah. Oh, okay, just okay. For demonstration. Okay. Purposes. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't even want to, right? It's <laughs> <laughs> just, this just for. Just, it's for education. It's yeah. For, yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to tell me what to do, bro. Light it up and then just start inhaling and pull this part out so you can inhale the the rest. All right. Just keep inhaling, inhale, inhale. How frequently do you smoke weed right now? Well, today, what? Well, two days in a row. But I mean, I'm cutting down. I'm trying to cut down. Right, right. As of this week. Like the last two months, now I'm smoking pretty much every day. Do you find it impacts your, your training anyway? Like, you, do you usually train high? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you find it makes your training better or worse? Um, if it's a volume workout, better. Hmm. Uh, I don't know, you get really into that mind-muscle, you know, depending on how much impact you think it, it has, but mm -hmm. you really get into that mind-muscle mm -hmm. connection thing. On the other hand, training heavy, I would not suggest, or anything that requires skill, but training heavy feels heavier. Everything okay. feels heavier. Gotcha. So it seems like, you know, there's almost like an increased sensitivity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're more into the mind-muscle connection, but heavy actually feels heavier. Um, now I know you're a huge pull-up guy. So like, c can you just tell the people about your PR for pull-up? Like you were telling me about every year you'll do um, a certain number. Since 2013, uh, I decided to celebrate New Year's by doing 2013 pull-ups. On New Year's, he'll do 2013 pull-ups if it's 2013. So, so this year you did 2019, 2019. pull-ups on New Year's yeah. Day? Actually, I did 2300 because... <laughs> That's not in one day. Like. Because I want to motivate uh, my nephew to continue. <clears throat> this is the first year he did it. He right, finished. right, right. And so I just did an extra like 200. That's crazy, man. So we're going to train today. Obviously, we're going to do pull-ups. How many do you feel like we should do? You can start with 100 or 200. 200 pull-ups yeah. and that'll kick off the workout? Yeah. I'll typically do like three sets of 10 or three sets of 12. How, like what's your typical like training session? How many pull-ups are you usually doing? Uh, I start every, almost every day with 100. Like, yeah. That's crazy. So, uh, Is that like a 10 by 10 or? Uh, no, sometimes it's sets of eight mm -hmm. at the beginning of every minute. It depends on how fast I, I want to go. Sometimes it'll be sets of 12. Like right. At the beginning of every two minute intervals. What would you say is your main goal? Like, is it aesthetics or are you like, is it a longevity thing, health, strength? Um, I think it's longevity now, then it's aesthetics and then performance. Right. But no, it might be performance more than aesthetics now already. Hey, I was already saying, you know, I'm, I've come to accept that, you know, I've lost lean mass in the last five years, six years, right? Um, from 46 to 51 has been a gradual decline. But like your body fat percentage is probably still something around like 10% maybe. Like, I mean, you're still really lean, you know? Like, so how, how I don't know if I've said this, but how old are you right now? Uh, 51. 51, gotcha. So this year on your birthday, you were saying you did 510 pull-ups, is that right? Oh, yeah. So whatever age he is, he'll just multiply it by 10 and then do that many pull-ups on, on your birthday, right? Yeah. You should show them that photo you showed me of uh, your hands after the 2019. Oh, do you, yeah. Do you have that? Four hours and 47 minutes. Oh, that, that was that for 1,700. Oh, that was for 1,700? Yeah, that was practice. Oh. <laughs> this dude is an animal. I feel like we should talk about your, your paintings a little bit. I want to make a living uh, painting Vaginas. Uh, 
I just think, you know. <laughs> that one might need to be blurred. <laughs> like it was just a troll, you know. <laughs> but it was just a troll. Right. I was just trolling. But then, but you're actually if I good, succeed right? at it, wow, man, my life would be. I, that would be my legacy. Yeah, yeah. I want to motivate people. If they put their mind into it, they can achieve anything in life, like even being a vagina cleaner. <laughs> 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 Tell me a little bit more about your, your training. Like what, what does your split look like right now? Over two years, uh, I've been doing full body five to seven days per week. So you, you'll, hit your, you'll hit every muscle group yeah. five to seven days a week. Yeah. And you, you just do that every day, yeah. no, no rest in between. Yeah. How do you find that? I like that. I mean, there's a lot of room for flexibility in it too. Right. I still miss that where you just focus on one body part. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. recently, it's only like the last month, I, I'm playing with, you know, where I focus on one body part, but I'll still do, if I do a pull, mm -hmm. I'll still do push and legs. Right. Yeah, it's interesting. That was something that... Uh, meant we were talking about this Menno Henselmans and I we did an interview that's like what, three or that, four years ago yeah, and, that's said, what, and that's what made me consider it right and we tried tried it in 2016 but you know we didn't we found it boring yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. and then uh, 2017 I decided to play around with it again and start playing with you know volume like a lot more mm -hmm. uh, and yeah really and then I put my nephews uh, a lot of my clients are on it mm -hmm. A lot of people might hear that and be like, well, you're gonna overtrain, like you can't hit, or your workout super long, but I think you just, you know, bring the volume and the intensity down a little bit so you can hit it a little more frequently yeah. and still pack in a very large weekly training volume. Yep. What I found with it is, kind of like you were saying, it's, it's harder to get like a good back pump or like a good chest pump if you're only doing, say like one, maybe two exercises per workout, right? Yeah. Um, for you, obviously you do all those pull-ups, so you obviously yeah. get the back pump, like, but you know, that's you can, the one thing I find. The one thing you could also do is like, uh, even just full body, the same thing, say you could rotate like, you know, what the first exercise is and it's gonna be the heaviest and mm -hmm. one day is for mm -hmm. chest. Right, so you focus on chest, but then still hit everything else. Yeah. I mean, it's, I think it's an intelligent approach. In theory, the more advanced you get, the shorter your MPS spikes tend to be, right? So muscle protein synthesis will elevate for, say, 48 to 72 hours for more of a beginner. As you get more advanced, it only spikes for maybe, you know, 24 hours, and then it's back to baseline. So okay. if you can hit the muscle again with, a, you know, another shot of resistance training, in theory, it makes a lot of sense. Um, so anyway, but, I, I don't know if I told you this, but I, after I finish my current upper lower split, I'm going to switch over to a, a full oh, yeah, body, wow. probably five day a week split. And I'll remember, you know uh, yeah. I'm holding you accountable <clears throat> birthday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm turning 29 this year. So Timba's making me do 290 pull-ups. I'm going to try to come over to Toronto and we'll do it together. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah. 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 All right, bro. Yeah. I got to ask you this. Um, actually I was going to ask you a couple things. How do you deal with munchies? Like... <laughs> Um, so first of all, the best one is intermittent fasting. We smoke just now. I won't eat until like maybe four o'clock mm -hmm. because so that the munchies have sort of died down. That's how it feels for me. Right, right. And then your smaller window of eating. Mm -hmm. And then if I do, I usually have a protein shake first. If that doesn't, you know, and then after that, kimchi. Is that like Korean ginger or cabbage? cabbage. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. There's like very little calories, so I'll eat that. Right, right, okay, okay. And then I have the uh, premium plus crackers. Like, I, there's a things that I'll eat first just so that Oh, I, can... I see, I see. I actually wrote an article about like marijuana and gains for a magazine a, a little while ago, and there's actually not a lot of research directly relevant to like bodybuilding type stuff. It's mostly focused on endurance sports. The research seems to show that it either has a totally neutral or slightly negative effect on aerobic exercise, so not resistance training. I wonder from if it's because of the smoking. Maybe, but the thing is, is a lot of athletes will still take it because it reduces anxiety and fear about competing. So that tends I, to have a more positive effect. Totally right? attested yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, from what I read that, you know, it does lower testosterone, but apparently that it uh, testosterone levels uh, come back to baseline within 24 hours. Gotcha. So, so it's like an acute reduction in testosterone, yeah. not like a prolonged one. Yeah. But you're kind of thinking if you're smoking weed every day, then that acute reduction might add up 
over yeah. time. Yeah, you know? so it's, it remains suppressed, so it never comes to base. Like right, right, right. So. Real quick, I actually looked this up on Examine. You know Examine, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is what they said. <clears throat> Two studies found that chronic users of marijuana did not display significantly uh, different baseline levels of testosterone. Uh, up to daily smoking sessions or seven. So those two studies didn't. However, another study showed depressed testosterone levels in men who use more uh, marijuana at least four days a week for at least six months, uh, six months compared to age match controls that didn't smoke. So it seems like there's like two studies that show no effect on testosterone, one that did yeah. show an effect. I'd have to look deeper into the studies to know for sure. But to me, it sounds like at worst, it's something acute, like you said. And they also say in the article that it doesn't lower it at, in any case, below the natural physiological levels. Yes. But I'm still trying to cut down just because I want to have all my bases covered, you know, mm -hmm. to see if uh, that makes a difference. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. In terms of your physique? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Want to finish this pre-workout and then yeah. get after it? Sure. All right, cheers. Are we going to walk? Uh, yeah. It's pretty far away. <laughs> well, it's pretty far away. Uh, we'll get an Uber. Yeah. We'll get an Uber. You want stairs? Or oh, what are you thinking? Oh. Stairs? Oh, yeah, because, oh, stairs? Oh. Let's do the stairs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually pushing really hard. Oh, my lat just cramped up. <laughs> yeah, come and get it, pocket ticking for my riches now. Yeah, boy, come, come, I see my kitchen now. Yeah, right, Colorado ain't my region now. But now I'm headed out there. You want to like take me through your stretching routine or what you, what you'd usually do? I usually do my core work too in the morning. Oh uh, yeah. During my during the stretching, yeah. Uh, usually uh, hollow body. Sure, yeah. I, do you I, perform those? I haven't. I, I've okay. done I've done them a couple times, but I'm gonna get you to teach me. So. Do you have any shoulder issues? No, not really. Push your lower back into the... Okay, yeah. How long are you holding this? Stop. Oh, that's tough. Oh, yeah. Gee. Yeah, I, uh, I tried to get uh, a total of 10 minutes a week. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that's a good stretch. Uh, That's a good stretch too. I love that, man. And uh, just for the sake to give it to reverse. Yeah, see, I have very limited uh, hip extensions. Yeah, for the shoulders. Hip extensions? Like a swimming motion. Uh huh, uh huh. I'm gonna press. Oh, man. Those are actually hard. They burn the belts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lift up your where your knees are touch the floor. So. Oh. That was amazing. All right, so start off with a pull up. Let's get it. All right. Okay, so guys, we're kicking off the workout with our pull up challenge. So we're doing 200 pull ups each, and we're gonna do, I think, eight minutes on the minute. So it should take us about 25 minutes to get it done. Is that right, Timba? Seven, seven pull ups. Okay. Seven, two. So we're gonna do seven pull ups every minute. So 200 divided by seven. So it's gonna take us 28 minutes. You want me to start the clock? Yep, I'll do it. Okay, he's gonna start it. All right, all right, let's get it. If you've never tried doing 100 pull-ups at the beginning of your workout, start with that. We're at 63 right now, and it's, it's not easy. I was not prepared for this. You were playing it cool. <laughs> I thought I didn't expect it to be that hard, man. 
How does he do 2,000? That's insane. Yeah. What's the world record? It's, it's like 7,000. 7,000 7, is a world record, yeah. He's actually kind of close to the world record. Because like he does it not, not in that much time either. Holy crap. He had 12 left, so he tries to bang out his last 12 all at once in one set. It's actually 18 he's going for. 17. Let's get it, one more. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. Man. I'm gonna try. So he, you, try, you banged out 18 at the very end. I'm gonna try it. And I'm just gonna go until I get 18. Yeah. <laughs> It is That's 10. <laughs> I don't know how you do that, man. I've got five left. Last five. Marco, are we using here? Or. That's the hardest uh, five rounds. Man, honestly, I really underestimated how impressive that is. Maybe it's just me, but that was really hard. Okay. All right, so guys, up next, we're gonna do four sets of 12 on the lateral raise, but for the first set, we're kind of treating it more as like a mind-muscle connection set. So going really light, going nice and slow, and focusing on pulling the insertion point closer to the origin point. So you wanna think about shortening this as you pull up, and you also wanna think about pushing out with the back of your palm, instead of thinking of it as lifting the weight up, think about pushing the weight out, and then stop once you get to about here. Good. And you're thinking about contraction too. Good, really good. One thing to try next time is grip the dumbbell with your thumb up against this head rather than in the middle. It's gonna put more, more of an external rotation moment on the shoulder. So you're gonna to have to work a little harder to keep the wrist neutral, love you know? Love. Love love. Hold up where they got my back on Pippin. I'm back in kitchens with the trace. Windows tinted like how black my skin is. Scoop the shorty in it from a J. Swish, she got vision just like. All right, so guys, we're doing four sets of 10 reps of a bottoms up walking lunge. So basically you take the kettlebell, Hold it up like you need to do over there and do 10 reps uh, or 10 total strides, I guess. I've actually never done those before. Whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I need chalk. My hands are too slippery. The pitch. Dude. That's so freaking hard. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Not with that weight. Yeah, this is not, I'm setting this one out. Okay, I can do it this way. And then just push your hands on the way back. That's that. <laughs> That's so freaking hard, man. Yeah, the left hand first. Yeah, the left hand is way harder for me. <laughs> Man, that's way harder than I thought it was going to be. We want to, if you can press the timer, and then we'll go down, hold it for five seconds, up five seconds. Oh, so six and we're doing that for two minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. All right. Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're moving on to a chest exercise. So we're going to do tempo push-ups. So basically, do a push-up down, hold it for five seconds in this position, yeah. two, three, four, five, and then up, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to do that for two minutes yeah. straight. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. 
you get a full you get a full stretch on the lats here. Yeah. And then you get full so maybe flexion. Yeah, full that like that? Or what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, that makes sense to me. I mean as long as your lower back is neutral still, that's awesome actually. So guys up next, we're doing three sets of twelve each arm. Kind of unique row variation. So basically you're gonna get a full stretch on the lats here at the bottom and kind of brace with your elbow. And then you're gonna straighten yourself out at the top and then allow yourself to come forward. Straight now. So it has like the stretch of a vertical pull. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so the stretch of a vertical pull, right? And then you turn it into a row throughout the range of motion. And we're gonna all go through one arm at a time. Yeah, just more breath. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll do one curl. Okay, if you, if you guys wanna see Kane take me through a full blown calisthenics workout, he's an, he's an animal with that stuff. Just comment down below and we'll make it happen in a couple months probably. Nice. Let's go. His training style is so controlled. Like, there's no real cheating or like, he just like gets in the zone. It's so crazy. So doing these, especially after the pull-ups, you feel such a good stretch on your lats and even your mid-back. You squeeze back here. I, I feel like it's a really nice accessory to that for sure. Bong. Why, why you got the bong under the row? <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave home without it. Like, you know, I mean, it's better to have a bong when you don't need it, <laughs> then to not have a bomb when you need it. <laughs> right. How many more do we have here, man? Oh, it's the other side. Other side? It's the last one. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So, Kane, can you, can you show me? Uh, so, keep your arms, like, just above you, like you're, you want your elbows almost eye level. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then you push down and straighten your arms and oh, like that. Perfect. Wow. The triceps, dude. <laughs> so hey. Needy. Three. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, I have never done that. Damn. That's dude. hard, bro. Dude. Hey. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> 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 you got <off. laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you Did that always grow like the arms? Go triceps are a strong point, point yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, biceps are weaker. We're doing a super set of triceps and biceps. For triceps, we're actually doing a movement I've never done before until just now. Basically, you're gonna get down into a plank position, flare your elbows out at about eye level, cross your hands over, fingers over, and then extend out. Extend out. What are we doing? Three sets of 10 reps? Let's say three sets of 10 reps, alternating. So we'll do that, do the triceps. So then for biceps, we're doing another three sets of eight to 10 with a reverse grip curl. Um, and we're taking about 30 seconds to a minute in between each set. Rotate, yeah. Oh. Oh. Just do five. Just do five. Five oh. Okay. Your, your forearms are strong, bro. That's hard, it, man. I just. I, get, I think I started working on it just because to improve on the pull-ups. Right, okay. Little, you know what I mean? To improve your grip. Yeah. Yeah. So That's unbelievable, man. Yeah, everything, like I said, uh, those pull-ups guarantee sort of... Carry over. Yeah, but it's sort of uh, like from that, because of the pull-ups, I started wanting to pay more attention to nutrition on the performance right. front, not just, you know? on what the progression should be. Sure. So we're gonna do some kind of core exercise. I don't know exactly what. He said, I don't expect you to do it. So it's not, <laughs> I don't have my hopes up. Oh, wow. Ooh. 
what would be the progression? So, like right now, you could just start with a Honestly, tucked like, lever. I feel like the, the easiest progression would be to start like this and just literally do it like that first, like kind of on the ground, you know? And then maybe get used to holding that position, that horizontal position, which I don't know if I can do. So I'm grabbing here. Or over whichever, and then tuck your knees in, tuck your knees in. I've never done that in my tuck life. Your knees in. Oh, like this. Your chest in. You can bring your hip up. I can't do that. My lower back. Oh. I don't know. I, or maybe I'm just weak. That's really hard. Yeah. Okay. My just up. <laughs> yeah, like that. Hold that. Isometric hold. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think I understand what you're doing now. Yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah. I'm gonna pull mine off too. Bro, that's so crazy. It's pretty hard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a rating of from one to ten. My uh, like culture, like I want to be polite. So out of ten? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'd still give it uh, five uh, over five. Okay, five. <laughs> uh, over five. You know what? No, I'll, because you still got I'll take a passing grade. I, at least I got into position. You still got into position. <laughs> yeah. right? It's 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 a lot harder than it looks oh, when you do it, man. Anyway, man, that was an amazing workout. Are we gonna get a bite to eat? Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, this is my father, Roy Swobat. In 1987, he was 49 years old. Uh, That's crazy. That was my bedroom wall. So this is this is Kane's dad when he was 49, and this is what Kane's bedroom wall looked like when he was a kid. That's nuts, man. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> Ramen. Okay. So level two. No, I'm not doing level and then three. Whoever loses has level three. <laughs> whoever loses has level three? Yeah. Let's do that. Rock, paper, scissors? Okay, all right. You get three. <laughs> so he has to get level three spicy ramen. I'm gonna get level two. Ooh, that's pretty spicy. That's only a two. It's so good. This is like the best thing I've ever eaten, man. It's freaking delicious, bro. I love it. I have no idea how to eat this, but like, it's very good. Spicy char siu ramen. Spicy char siu ramen, level two. Really quite spicy. A lot of good flavor, though. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for the video. Shout out to my boy, Tim Wolf. Make sure you guys are following him on Instagram. He's a hilarious follow. All kinds of good information, science-based. And uh, for real, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I, I wanna do another video with you, man. I feel like I I'm gonna come back to Toronto. We're gonna do like a, a day in the life, share some more of it. He's got so much knowledge, it's crazy. Montreal road trip. So, Montreal road trip. Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.